This is Channels Television's Breaking News. Breaking news! A new Twitter war has started between the Phantom Menace and the 501st Legion, with none other than Jeremy Griggs caught in the crossfires. Find out more next. Welcome to Black Angus Reviews. Crazy day on the Sunday morning, August 18th, 2019. I was traversing the Twatterverse, much like a uh, sort of surfer surfing the interwebs. And uh, I was shown this tweet by a Marietta Ivanova. I think this woman's from like Poland, uh, but she uses English quite well on, uh, on Twatter. So uh, she says, hashtag Fandom Menace at D-Day Cobra at GeeksAndGamers.com. You ripped off the logo of our nonprofit charity organization, 501st Legion. We're not affiliated with Lucasfilm Disney, but thanks to our delicate mutual respect, we've been able to do a charity at Children's Hospitals slash events for 22 years. All right. And uh, she also says, however, your artist, Stephen Wayne Art, modified our logo to do the opposite, to make profit and to fight Disney. Please consider your fellow fans in our cause and charity and stop using this logo at D-Day Cobra Geeks and Gamers Nerdrotics, that Star Wars girl. All right. And there's a meme here. Uh, it's a two-parter. It has uh, one side being 501st Legion uh, with the Stormtrooper. And it's got the basic at the top. It says, uh, international nonprofit charity organization with 13,000 members. It is not associated with Lucasfilm Disney, but thanks to the mutual respect between Disney and the 501st Legion, it is able to fundraise for charity and visit children's hospitals. Now, the Fandom Menace logo, if you haven't seen it, uh, it's a Stormtrooper body, much the same. Looks a little bit modified. Uh, with Skeletor's evil cackling white skull laughing, uh, a cobra head from G.I. Joe on the left and a Decepticon on the right and it has the quote from our beloved Rose Tico saying what, saving what we love by fighting what we hate um, and so this is, this is controversy you know if you watched uh, my buddy Stephen Walton he did a, a stream with his co-author slash editor what have you uh, MHM Rogers uh, on Jeremy's channel to discuss the Phantom Menace Volume 1, trying to get it crowdfunded and everything, and just go over what it's about, why he's doing it. All right, and uh, if you saw it, had the Phantom Menace on uh, the left, and Geeks and Gamers on the right, in the center, it had this Phantom Menace logo that I'm pretty sure Jeremy has endorsed via Twitter retweets or what have you. Um, so we'll go first, uh, someone says, it's a blatant copy of the 501st Legion. Steven replies, it's a parody, my dude, and shows a uh, definition of parody. And uh, <laughs> you start seeing the pearl clutching right away. Mar Marietta says, then do parody mockery of whom you oppose. Disney, not a charity organization, not even Geeks and Gamers Com, was sensitive enough not to violate Disney trademarks for the Last Jedi parody shirts. But you didn't even make it an independent work. You 90% directly copied our logo. Well, that, that's, that's why it's parody. Uh, and Steven comes in with another dunk saying, uh, your charity organization logos literally parody U.S. military emblems. Um... You know, maybe you should be sensitive enough to change your logos to stop mocking our armed forces. Another great one, the board's art, uh, says LARPers offended over parody. Fucking priceless. And this is when you really start getting it. She says, priceless to you, but this is valuable to me. Holding a seven-year-old cancer patient's hand as a stormtrooper at a hospital. Collecting for charity. Loving Star Wars and creating armors and art inspired by it. No need to ridicule your fellow fans. No need to parody or mock our work. Uh, yeah, you just don't have a sense of humor. And then there's other weirdos that are crying like, What does this have to do with Star Wars? It's the 501st. Well, 501st you know, uh, cosplay Star Wars. You, you literally rip it off and uh, run around in its attire. 
You know, so what makes you immune? Just because you do good stuff in this organization under this banner doesn't make you immune. Ethan Van Skyver, uh, I think in part to troll, but he still did good with the trolling, had a charity to feed hungry kids to mock Captain Marvel Challenge, which sent, uh, it raised funds to send girls to see a movie for two hours. Like, what good does that do them if they're poor and, star- and or starving or unclothed or, you know, uh, not fully furnished with... Uh, not fully supplied with uh, school supplies. It doesn't. What if I, or Drunk 3PO, fucking shielded ourselves with our charity work um, every time someone had a problem with us, they didn't like us, they mocked our content, or whatever. Uh, just think of, drunk, especially Drunk 3PO, just think if he's like, hey, you can't do that, I raised money for an El Salvadorian uh, crap, uh, orphanage that <laughs> lost the word uh he doesn't because that doesn't apply to what we're discussing you know and you see a lot of these last jedi people they just they can't take the joke they can't stand it or they don't see it they're like oh what does that have to do with last jedi it's like well the quote is from last jedi at the bottom dumbass uh, I, I don't know how to make it clearer you know and uh yeah you know this is sh- like i said it's pearl clutching people are pr- clutching their pearls trying to shield themselves they think because they do good for children especially cancer children that they themselves can't be mocked uh which is silly to me um and we've seen this kind of happen in uh in comic skate me being war campaign you know uh we like to meme we like to put dicks on uh people's pictures and uh you know you could block us you can mute us you could just ignore us you can log out of twitter or not be on twitter uh some pussy wussies like uh, mike miller and uh, ben hennessy among others have done that uh and I, i'll applaud them for that they can't handle uh the memes so they leave but again you know none of this should shield you uh and it doesn't work, especially an uh, organization, a group. We're not even really an organization. We're just a, a collective of fans in the fandom menace that we all hate The Last Jedi and hate SJW's infiltration of our uh, entertainment. Uh, it's at the core of our American heritage. Uh, when you tell us no, we're going to keep doing it, you know? So expect more memes of different specific 501st Legion uh, units from Stephen Art. I'm looking forward to this. Uh, and by you not shutting the fuck up about Stephen's art, you're only giving him more exposure uh, to, to potentially sell more of this, to spread this like wildfire. So like, hey, I like the fandom menace. I like that art, you know? Uh, and none of these people cried about the parody when we made the fandom menace, which is, uh, you know, a direct parody of Phantom Menace. You know, no one cried about that. No one cried about uh, Plan 9 or uh, Tico Soy War Story or Soylo. Uh, you know, it's just, oh, because it affects you now, you'll talk about it, you know? And uh, like, oh, take us up with Disney. It's like, what? <laughs> we are. <laughs> you just had a better image to parody. Uh, and, you know, you have the fortune of running around in a Star Wars suit to raise funds. And I get that it, you know, gets more attention or whatever, but it's all these people that are crying about it. They sound like uh, if they didn't get to wear their costumes, uh, they wouldn't see these cancer kids to begin with. So it's a lot of virtue signaling, in my opinion, from, uh, you know, white knight soy boys and whatnot. I can't take a joke. I can't stand that we hate The Last Jedi and, uh, you know, their, uh, their picture has uh, come within the uh, crossfire and they hate capitalism too because uh you know they, they make a point to cry about oh they make profit on this image woo like star wars here look at all of his shirts from star wars uh related stuff even if it's not directly obi-wan or emperor it's like you know who it is why he's making money why people buy it so tell me your thoughts about this uh, this is some silly shit i can't wait to see the sales figures if he ever uh, discloses them what Steven makes after this because uh, more people know there's people in, in this uh, comment thread who didn't even know the image of 501st or that the 501st existed so I mean you're not all that in a bag of potato chips as Dr. Evil would say um, you know just you know check your role you're not special and uh, you know if you really believe this then you'll come to the defense of drunk 3PO when he's attacked uh, by soy boys and, and you know uh, thrown in the bus or, or what have you ridiculed and mocked on Twitter because he's a small channel um, so yeah, those are my thoughts I mean, what you think 
Um, and maybe, you know, DM me or Drunk DPR or Steven Art some uh, other Star Wars related stuff. Maybe 501st stuff that could be well parodied to further trigger SJWs in the 501st ranks. Um, maybe we can turn 501st into an Antifa symbol. I don't know. Um, I think that'd be funny because it seems a lot of these uh, people, at least in this thread, are, uh, would be cool with Antifa. So, uh, yeah, let's just let the memes flow. Uh, Black gangs take care. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. If you'd like to support this channel, consider becoming a patron or buying store merch from the Teespring store. Don't forget to check out the growing list of friends in the Phantom Collective in the description below. And follow me on Twitter, at Angus Reviews. See you there.